Well, um, to sum up this last week, I guess I really have two things to say. No sleep, and skins. They're pretty much a direct result of one another. I would stay up late watching skins and then not sleep. Um, I'm almost through season three now, and um, I really was trying to kind of hurry up um, and watch all of them before the American version comes out because I think, can't say I'm very happy about it, but I think I'm going to watch at least some of it just to find out and prove myself that it is indeed way crappier than the British version. In no world can I fathom that the American version will be anywhere near as good as the British version. I mean, what are the key components of Skins? Them saying the word spliff, them talking in a British accent, and the fact that it's based in Bristol, England. All three of those will be taken away when it's translated into American. So that's been going on, but honestly right now, I was just stretched out to take a nap when I remember that I'd make a video today. And so, this is me making a video about how to sleep. The Nightly Sleep, Type 1. This is considered the most common type of sleep, and is scientifically the most beneficial. It is simple, yet effective. Find yourself a squashy stuffed animal to snuggle with, nestle into your signature fetal position, and then pull the covers up over you and your animal and tuck them in snugly under your chin. Happy dreaming! The Before Final Sleep, Type 2 this type of sleep is relatively simple. Studies have shown that college students are especially proficient at this kind of sleeping. Type two and a half, the in-class sleep. This involves a little more calculation, but with practice, it can be perfected. Simply lean your hand into your cheekbone, high enough to hide one eye. Hold a pen in your hand, as if waiting to jot down the fantastic lecture that you're about to sleep through. Then, lean forward in your chair and angle your chin down far enough that, if you drool, no one will notice. Sleep away! Type 3, the wall sleep. This is most often used between classes, in libraries, or while visiting relatives you don't really like. Simply find yourself a nice patch of wall, lean one shoulder onto it, put all of your weight onto one foot, tuck your head down, and snooze. Type 4. The, I just can't do this anymore, sleep. This is an extremely advanced type of sleeping. It should not be attempted by beginners. It is only used in the most dire of need. Please, just don't break any bones. Type 5, the sugar high. Each morning, drink as much coffee and tea as you can. Then stock up on sugar snacks like Reese's, pudding, or lollipops. Finally, carry around M&Ms and be sure to eat a good handful every half an hour. But be warned, side effects may include, but are not limited to, being easily distracted, giddiness, loss of balance or memory, and an addiction to coffee. <sighs> See, I hope that was informative. Um, that's my steps to how, to how to sleep. Personally, I'm of the coffee sugar eater variety, and then you just have to worry about it. Um, but I understand that that's just not for everyone. Have a good week, get more sleep than I do, and watch less skins, and Abby Biggin, you guys fail this week. Yeah. Um, you should know that. You fail. You should make videos soon. Anyway, I love you guys. Bye.